A second reason to study the history of science is to get a better understanding of scientific theories. A study of the history of scientific theories can also lead to a better appreciation or understanding of those theories. For example, the development of new scientific theories often involves intense controversies. We often find that some of the best scientific minds of that time opposed a new theory that eventually ended up being successful. So knowing how people argued for and against a theory and knowing how the theory was modified and elaborated in response to those controversies and criticisms is bound to lead to a better understanding of that theory. And if you understand that theory better, then you can also do a better job in applying that theory to solve problems. So the history of science can indirectly help you in doing better in your exams, although that is not its main purpose, but just a good side effect. A third reason to study the history of science is to have a better appreciation of human creativity. Scientists are supposed to be creative. The act of coming up with a new scientific theory that no one else invented before is a creative act. So when we look at the history of science, we also would better understand what exactly were the creative ideas in various theories. And looking carefully at various examples of human creativity at work in human history might teach us something about how to be more creative ourselves. A look at the history of science can also help us in dispelling various myths about science that we might have inadvertently acquired. For example, many people believe that Copernicus was the first person to theorize that the earth moves around the sun. And prior to him, everyone believed that the sun moves around the earth. But when we look at history, we find that in the Western tradition, the first extant reference to heliocentrism is by Aristarchus of Samos. Aristarchus was a Greek from the 3rd century BCE who was from the Greek island of Samos, which is near Turkey. Here is a stamp printed in Greece in honor of Aristarchus and his heliocentric views. So you can see Aristarchus's name mentioned over here and you can see uh, a heliocentric view of the solar system here with the sun at the center and all the planets revolving around the sun. So this is the fourth reason for studying the history of science to dispel myths about science.